from Bonnie's Creative Place Stamping Up .net. and today we're going to make this fun little ice cream card that it would be great for a male. So I'm very excited to be sharing this card with you. So um, first, before we get started, if you see the little pink square over there in the right hand corner, if you could click on that, you will subscribe to any of my up and coming videos. And if you would like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Sharing my videos helps me so much. And I would really appreciate it if you would share it with people. The other quick thing that I want to let you know, that if you order from me in the month of April, you will get this free tutorial from the Creative Cardiology team. And that is the month of April. When you do order, make sure you put your email address in there in the order section so that way I can contact it and be able to send this to you. So the other thing I wanted to say is if you are interested at all in joining Stamping Up, I'd love to have you on my team. Just click in the information in the description box below. I have links to everything. You can message me, email me, and I will be glad to give you more information on that. So let's get started. Now I uh, tend to stay away from mail cards unless I need them for a mail and then I kind of see what they're into and stuff but sometimes you just need a quick card or a male teenager or um, something to that effect that just wants a card you know you want a quick card for them and I thought this is a great quick little birthday card for whether it's a teenager or just a male friend that you have and I thought what a great card so we are going to get started on this the things that we need is we need a piece of Whisper White that is eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it in the middle at four and a quarter. Then we need a piece of Designer Series paper. Now these are the little six by six packs that give you a variety of all the colors in the section, like the natural, the suitables, the brights. This is the natural bundle, and it's um you get like four sheets of every color in there. And um, this is the natural one that they have current in the catalog, I believe, but it will be switching up to, they change the patterns is what they do. So um, depending upon when this video goes out, this may not be current because we are in the middle of a catalog change. So I just wanted to let you know, but the colors are all the same. So you will get this color. It just may have a different design on it. And you will need a piece of designer series paper that is five and a quarter by four. And that piece will go right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that right down. And you could use the polka dots if you want on the other side. I love the polka dots. But I felt like it was a little more manly with the stripes. So that's kind of where I was heading. Okay, so there we go. Then we need a piece of early ex or soft, no, early espresso. Sorry, that's what this is. This is early espresso. And this piece is two and three fourths by three and three fourths. So we need a piece of this. Then we need a piece of Whisper White, and this is two and a half by three and a half. We need a piece of Whisper White for some of our stamping that's going to be the background. And we need a couple scraps for our ice cream. So let's get started on this. So I'm going to set this off to the side. We got this right here. The first thing I did was I went ahead and I took the stamp set that says treat yourself and I took this and I stamped it up and I stamped it right down here let's see the bottom of that doesn't look very good there we go and I stamped it up and right down in the bottom I stamped treat yourself I figured who doesn't like ice cream and I don't know but it seems like the men in my house love the chocolate ice cream so I figured let's go with chocolate <laughs> so then I'm going to be using a couple colors I'm using soft suede and cinnamon cider 
So I took cinnamon cider and I took the ice cream cone and I kind of tipped it a little bit at an angle. And I just stamped it just like that. And then I take the little, I don't know, like the detailed of the cone, it's to make it look like a waffle cone. And I stuck that in the soft suede and then I stuck that right on top, just like that. So now we have those two. We'll come back to that in a minute. We're going to take our two pieces of scrap that I said we have, and we're going to stamp this into the soft suede. And we're just going to stamp it down. I should have stamped it a little more towards... Oh, I'm going to stamp that one again. I'll flip it over because it didn't get the center quite. And since I didn't really stamp it where I wanted it, put it there. There we go. That's better. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. Because there's a punch for this. Okay. And there we go for that one. So we got this stamped on here. And then I have an ice cream cone punch right here. And we're going to put it in here, line her up, punch it out. Makes it so much easier. <laughs> and then we're going to do the same thing with this one. And we are going to punch it out, just like that. I don't need the cinnamon cider, so I'm going to set that off to the side so I don't get anything in it. And I'm done with the punch. So I'm going to grab the little, there's this little, um, it looks like a teardrop, but it's the ice cream drippings. So what I did, before I attached these down, I kind of put them like this. And I kind of tipped one to make it look like the cone was melting, starting to tip over. And I stamped up, and I just added a few of these here and there on the card, just like that. You could add more, you could add less. If you feel you need to add a couple more, I have a little spot right there, so I'm going to hide it and add a third one, or a fourth one. <laughs> so, <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to attach snail right to the back of these. And I put this one down. And I did do them at a little bit of an angle, like I said, because I wanted them to um, look like, you know, they are... They are uh, dripping and tipping and all that stuff. So then I'm going to take and I'm going to put this piece right on top of our early espresso piece of cardstock here. And I do this. It's just a quick, I mean, this is a very quick card. If you needed a card real quick because you're getting ready to go to a party or an event that you forgot and you didn't make one, didn't get it. I'm just trying to use up some of these black um, dimensionals, but, you know, any dimensional that you have will work. I do have white ones over here. I just haven't opened them up. Okay. And then we're going to bring in our piece. And we're going to put this right kind of eyeball in the center, just like that. And then I'm going to open this up. I'm going to stamp this in, oh, I just put my finger in that. I'm going to stamp this in the soft suede, just like that. Oh, I need to push that on better. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm going to stamp this up, and it says happy birthday. And I'm going to stamp that right along the inside of the card. Now, you could stamp another cone in here, add some more drippings if you want, which would be really cute. There's lots of things you could do to the inside to carry it over. But I thought this was a fun for a male or a teen boy. And 
like I said, I don't know about you, but I do struggle in that area. So thanks for stopping by, everybody. Share, like, comment, all the good stuff. Have a good day. Bye-bye.